How's it going y'all? This is McFrosty Boy, and in this video we're going to teach you some ways to use cover to make better damage exchanges in Apex Legends. We selected this particular topic thanks to a request from one of our Frosty friends, Nickerdibble, from Reddit. Of course, I want to thank all of the Frosty friends for your support. You all are my inspiration to improve. Now I know it's annoying, but I am once again asking you all to upvote the post on Reddit. If the post gets buried on the newest page, it literally kills the video and all of my hard work for the week. It only takes a few moments and your support has a huge impact on the channel. So please, please, please upvote the Reddit post I've linked below. You can also support me by pressing the like button, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. If you just can't wait for the next video, you can also join us on my Twitch stream or in our Discord server. first example, we're going to focus on vertical cover and corner peaks. Initially, I'm too far from the vertical cover of the wall because my teammate is present, and I have to share a line of sight with them. In this situation, I should take the wider peak, since my teammate can't see me, but it also leaves me more exposed, so our team will want to change up these angles eventually. We see movement to the right and we carve the corner, which means to slowly open the angle around a vertical piece of cover while keeping my crosshair focused on the near edge. This minimizes the distance of a flick if I see the enemy and makes it easier for me to quickly dip back into cover, which is exactly what we do once we realize the horizon has a devotion. I start looking for another quick cover peak since strategies focused on chip damage over multiple short peaks are more effective against weapons like the Devo and the Havoc that need to spin up over time. When my teammates round the corner, this angle becomes even stronger as it creates a crossfire opportunity on the weakened horizon. I once again carve the corner, but find the Bloodhound first and focus on them. I actually wander too far from cover as I punish the Bloodhound and overexpose myself to the horizon, but the presence of my teammates compensates for this error. The two pieces of advice that can be learned here are to 1. Carve the corner to safely open angles around vertical cover, especially if you don't know what's on the other side of the cover, and 2. Use multiple short peaks to get chip damage against weapons like the Devo or when trying to fish for safe damage. The next example shows how cover inefficiencies can really add up. Initially, I am in trouble dealing with the Revenant because the enemy is closer to the horizontal cover, meaning it's easier for them to control the angles in this situation. I, on the other hand, am too far from other pieces of cover, and I probably could have conserved more HP by being closer to cover. After realizing that the enemy Revenant has stopped paying attention to me, I move into closer cover in order to exert more pressure. As I complete this maneuver, I am again still too far from cover and it again costs me a bit of HP. As I work with this half cover, I wait for bullets before quickly peeking for counter shots. The more bullets the enemy shoots, the closer they get to having to reload, giving me a chance to attack them unopposed. My cover inefficiencies over this fight add up and I get knocked before getting tapped by our team's lifeline. I don't think that I'll get a chance to heal, so I prepare to trade for damage, ultimately wrapping up the fight. This example demonstrates how inefficient cover usage can add up over time, sometimes costing you critical margins of HP. We won in this situation because our team overall out-aimed the enemy team, but in a more equal situation my errors could have cost us the fight. In this example, we're going to see how proximity determines who controls a particular piece of cover. Our squad is moving in on a third party situation, and we use a jump pad to initiate and negate the enemy's height advantage. After knocking the wraith, I turn my focus to the Gibraltar. I move forward to seize control of the horizontal cover created by the death box and the knocked wraith. Because I am closer to the horizontal cover, crouching will cause the cover to conceal more of my hitbox than if the Gibraltar crouched, which is generally what it means to have control over a piece of cover. The same idea applies to the wall that Gibraltar is using as vertical cover. Gibraltar's horizontal movement will do more to change how the wall affects our sightlines than my horizontal movement will. That being said, my cover is superior since I can continue to step to the right to invalidate his cover while keeping some of the protection of my vertical cover. After knocking Gibby, we've just got some quick cleanup on the Bloodhound. The key concept this time is that being closer to a piece of cover makes it easier to control the ways it protects your hitbox. Our last example surprisingly will highlight when and why not to focus on cover in fights. At the start of this fight, I get initiated on while using the crafter, so I take a shield swap and use the box cover to reset and assess the situation. Realizing that I'm not immediately under attack, I reposition to the left edge of the fight to get a better sightline on the fight in general. Noticing the lack of enemy presence, I take the height. 
When the Bloodhound crosses my sightline, I'm definitely far from cover, but I can hear the enemies fighting my teammates on the other side of this building, so I know that right now I'm not going to be attacked. Instead of taking time to find a better piece of cover, I devote all of my attention to landing shots on the Bloodhound in order to maximize the damage I inflict. This encourages the Bloodhound to leave the opposite roof, giving me an opportunity to secure another position above the rest of the enemy squad. I use height as cover against these last two enemies. Just like with the death box in the last example, being closer to the corner means that it's easier for me to crouch or step backwards into safety behind the ledge as compared to my enemies. The idea here is that there's a balance to be struck between offense and defense. While cover use is important, unnecessary cover use can cause you to be inefficient with your time and miss critical damage opportunities. Well, that's all this time around. I'm not going to claim to have perfect cover use, but I hope that this gives you all a few ideas of how you can shake up your gameplay. Help out your fellow Frosty friends by sharing what works best for you using the comments below. I want to help you all improve at Apex Legends and I need your help to get this content to the rest of the community. So like, comment, subscribe, hop in the stream, join our Discord, and whatever you do with your day, keep doing a great job. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.